We recently installed a grid paver pathway to allow occasional vehicle access into the garden. We've used a system called grass stone, which is a concrete paver with openings in it. The concrete is strong enough to tolerate occasional vehicle traffic and the openings allow it to be planted. And this lets us adopt it to a wide range of landscape uses. One common use is to plant the openings with grass and integrate it into a turf area for use as an occasional driveway or overflow parking space. When planted with some low growing plants that tolerate foot traffic, we can plant a walkable pathway into the garden. Now depending on the type of plant that you're putting in, your system of planting is going to be a little bit different. If we were planting this with turf, I would fill the soil cell, the cells all the way up with soil and then insert plugs into each opening. I'm planting uh, low growing perennial plants that tolerate foot traffic and these are sold under a variety of trade names such as Steppable, tre Treadable and Treadwells. And I started by actually setting out all the pots and using a ruler and information on the labels to identify the proper spacing. Now most of these are spaced at about one foot intervals and that was to allow them some room to spread. I then put just a popsicle stick into all the openings that I had identified as receiving a plant and I came back and filled the openings with soil. The ones that were not going to be planted I filled completely with soil and then the ones that were going to receive a plant I only filled halfway to allow room for rooting. Well, let's take a quick look at the types of plants that we can use in this type of system. Many of these are already very familiar to us. We have a variety of sedums, and these are well known to us as a drought tolerant ground cover. Uh, the variety of leaf size and leaf color really lets the sedum be used in many different garden styles and really adapts well to the steppables. If, if a little piece of this breaks off from being stepped on and falls to the ground, it'll just simply reroute and uh, continue to create a nice walkable pathway. Another group of plants that's quite familiar to us that works uh, as a walkable plant are the thymes. And there's many different low growing creeping thymes. We have one called Archer's Gold in here. And one of the nice things about using thyme in your walkway is when you step on it and crush those leaves, it releases a very nice, pleasing aroma. We're also very familiar with speedwells, but when we think of speedwell, we think of the larger uh, version uh, in our perennial garden. But this is also a speedwell or a veronica. And this one's called Georgia Blue. One of the nice uh, attributes of using your speedwells as a, as a walkable plant It'll have some little blue flowers in the springtime. It also has a, a lovely foliage that's evergreen and a little bit of a red color to it, at least in the winter and spring months. Now this one's perhaps a little less familiar. This is Mazis, and it's another low growing uh, spreading perennial. It'll get white flowers on it in the springtime. This one tolerates a fair amount of foot traffic. And if you have an area that's part sun, part shade, this would work very well because it'll tolerate both conditions. Perhaps the toughest plant that we've put in here is um, creeping wire vine, Mulembechia axillaris. And it, its name comes from this wiry stems. They're rather thick. And they're also a dark color against that darker green foliage, which really adds a nice uh, different color to our planting. As I was laying out my plants, I wanted to avoid making stripes of a single color. I wanted to weave the greens in with some of the darker purples and the lighter colors uh, to make it just a little bit more attractive of a planting. Well, to put these in the ground, uh, I want to slide the plants out of their pot. And if you look at the soil ball, you can see that it's, it's a bit larger than my planting hole. So I'm going to just simply break this plant in half and I'm only going to plant half of it into the ground. So I, I always loosen the roots a little bit just to make sure they're not winding around and I'm going to fit it into our hole and then I've brought some compost out here that I can use to backfill. And as the plant grows it's going to spread 
and cover a larger area and some of these ground covers will actually put roots out along the stems and root into some of these empty holes. So we're going to end up with a really nice cover over the entire planting area. It might take a little bit of time to fill in. Now I selected drought tolerant uh, species and cultivars for our walkway just because of the local conditions. But we do want to make sure to give them plenty of water as they establish. As with any drought tolerant plant, they need some water during the establishment period. And then once they have a good root system, they're able to tolerate drier weather. Well, once this area fills in, we're going to have a beautiful tapestry of color that we can use as our walkway.